if you can just keep believing when nothing in you is working, when all your external forces have given way, if you can just manage to somehow keep hoping, you have a chance. You just can't become hopeless. Every time you find yourself saying that you can't do something, putting yourself down, being negative about you and the possibilities for you, you've got to literally catch yourself. And you've got to affirm to yourself, I can make it. You've got to remind yourself that you've got powers within you, talents within you that you haven't even reached for yet. Listen to me, man. You have a great life in front of you. But your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. What you did back there ain't got nothing to do with what God got for you. What you did back there was learn the lessons to get you to where you are at this particular moment right here. But what God got for you, do you know, man, that you can actually mess your life completely up? You can jack it all the way up and you can turn around and get it right. We all have had experiences in our lives that if we permit these experiences to do so, we will allow them to weigh us down. If we permit them to do so, they will be luggage that we'll be dragging through life, holding us down, stifling our potential to give and to contribute in life. If we continue to carry all of these things, we can never be open to the love and the abundance and the opportunity that life has to offer us because we are so full of what we've got. Now, if you don't know this quote, live by it. One can have no smaller or greater mastery than mastery over oneself. That's Da Vinci. Da Vinci did amazing things with his life. I wanted to do equally amazing things with mine. And if that's the game that we're playing, if I can construct my belief system, if I can choose at any moment to believe something that's more empowering than I was believing the moment before, and that that will actually find its way into my actions, allow me to do things that I couldn't do the moment before, then it's like that moment in the Matrix where Neo realizes he knows Kung Fu. The moment you start feeling abundant and worthy, you are generating wealth. The moment you're empowered and feel it, you're beginning to step towards your success. The moment you start feeling whole, your healing begins. And when you love yourself and you love all of life, you'll create an equal. Now you're causing the effect. When you're showing the spirit of gratitude for what I got, not that you're satisfied with it, but you're grateful for what you got. Develop a spirit of gratitude. I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful to be an American. I'm thankful to be on this part of the planet. I'm thankful to see another day. No things aren't what I want them to be. No, I don't have all the things I want to have. But I'm thankful that I'm still here. I have another opportunity, another day to live, another chance to contribute, another chance to make a difference in life. You, your track record for surviving bad days is 100%. That's a fact. All you got to do is start changing the way you think. You can protect yourself from negativity. And that's what stops most people, negative thoughts. You can coat your mind from negativity. The way you can put a coating around your mind is with one simple thing, gratitude. And that's like, as funny as that is, that's how I think about life. To me, the very fundamental purpose of life is to find out how many skills I can acquire that have utility and then put that utility to the test in service of something greater than myself. How many skills can I acquire that have utility, put that utility to the test in service of something greater than myself? That is for me the purpose of life. Now, I don't actually want to know Kung Fu. That is not the mission that I'm here to live, but I knew that I had to identify my mission. So what was going to be my mission? How dare you complain? How dare you worry? How dare you give up? You don't have the right to give in. You don't have the right to make it all about you. Some of you that are listening to my voice, you have been through certain things in your life and you felt that there was nothing that could be done. 
You trusted more in your failures than your success stories. Whatever you focus on, that's what you're going to continue to multiply and expand in your life. But if you focus on what you don't have, if all you can do is point out the negative things in your life, whatever you focus on, you're going to expand that. Some people, all they can do is complain. Do you realize that every day you thought you weren't going to make it? Do you remember them days where you thought it was absolutely unbearable and you thought you wasn't going to endure that one? Do you know that your survival rate for every last one of them bad days is 100%? It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. You think you become a champion on the field? You don't. You become a champion when ain't nobody watching you. You're doing your own drills and your own way. You're doing what coach tell you to do and you're doing your own stuff. You become a champion in the dark when ain't nobody looking. There is no time for sorrow. There is no time to give up. This is the opportunity an opportunity of a lifetime. You may have to accept a few losses that you got to lose so that you can win it all.